All right, so as you can see, we have the box wired up. This is just gonna be a quick tutorial of how I did it. I'm not gonna um, show you um, step by step. Uh, those videos tend to get long, but I'll just give you an overview. So as you can see, the um, battery um, cables are hooked up to a fuse um, block. And in this fuse block, we have that ran to our switch panel over here on the side. As you can see with the red lights, those have power. We're gonna turn those on in just a moment. On this side of the battery, we have our battery monitor um, and that is hooked up to a shunt inside of the box. Um, and that battery, battery monitor is hooked to the inverter, which um, it is going to read uh, the load um, that is being pulled from the inverter through this shunt and it's very easy to hook up you're going to take your load source which in my case is the inverter you're going to take the negative um, cable and you're going to hook it to this first one and then this is for the monitor itself so that cable just runs along here down the back side and plugs into the monitor then from the shunt here it's labeled to the battery so this um, will have its own battery cable to the negative on the battery so really easy um, to hook up there negative side of the inverter into the shunt the shunt um, into the negative side of the battery very easy to do on this side we put an inline um, fuse on the positive side to the inverter and then this is ran up to the fuse block um, where we have our switches ran. And then um, down inside, we have a negative pressure fan and a positive pressure fan. Um, so when we're pulling air into the box, uh, we can have uh, fresh air coming in. We're gonna blow that air across um, the inverter, which also has a fan and then the exhaust is going to be this one so the fan is rotated the opposite way of this one so let's go ahead and turn it on so you can hear the fans so this one is blowing air in this one is blowing air out now on the back side of the box, you'll see that the fans look different because this silver sticker is on the back side of the fan and this is the front side of the fan. So air um, is sucking in there. And if you um, feel on the back side here, air is blowing out. Um, these are just 12 volt fans. They have a positive and a negative. So I just have that hooked to um to each other and then that is um ran up into the fuse block then the positive comes down to the switches these are all pre-wired already and all you have to do is supply a power and a ground to it so we have a power and a ground here now i'm gonna go ahead and turn this on so i'm gonna hit my power switch for that and then you'll see that power monitor come on. And right now with just the fans, um, they're not even pulling one amp. Now, once we kick the inverter on, you can see still not pulling an amp. And um, when I hook a, a fan to this, um, just a 120 fan, um, I'm pulling uh, less than two amps of power on full speed. Uh, so that's really nice because when we go camping in the summer, I use just a normal house fan and this gauge right here will be able to um, keep track of that. Now, when you get this out of the box, you do have to program this. Um, it's very easy to do. You have to tell it how many amp hour battery you're using. So um, that's this percentage button here. And you can see right now we have 99.8% of the battery left. And you can see it's pulling 0.23 of an uh, amp. 
and it's a 200 amp hour battery. Um, now it does draw a little bit with those switches constantly being um, on. So uh, I do have a little bit of amperage draw. Um, it's not much, um, but I really do like this display. I left the little protective sleeve over it. I'm gonna try to leave that on there as much as I can. And then when you hit your uh, voltage button, you can see it's pulling 13.32 volts. Um, really easy to use, really easy to set up. It's gonna come with a set of instructions. Um, again, it's, it's really simple. You do only have to um, supply one power wire, um, which is not hard to do. Um, that just goes to the, the, the battery. And then there's a little connection on the, um, the shunt and you just put it in there and you're good to go. So um, the instructions are really easy uh, to read um, when you're programming um, all of the settings and the functions. Uh, everything on here will tell you step by step what you're going to do. It's easy to follow. Again, I, I don't wanna spend a lot of time on this video reading how to do all of that. It's really simple to do. But this is the box. Um, if you're worried about the cables pinching, the way that I have it set up, um, they're, not, they're not really pinching on anything. Um, I'm basically in using this as like a counterweight. So when the box closes, that drops down. And then you can see that there's plenty of room in there, still not pinching. And then when it closes, um, I don't even have to really force this down. I think it's pretty quiet to be pushing those big, big CFM of fans. I haven't um, installed lights yet. Uh, I'm planning on I, thinking about putting lights here and on the outside. Um, I have some lights, but I kind of really want a louvered light so it just shines the light down instead of across. But this is the box, it's all done. If you like this video and you like our content, uh, please let us know, subscribe to our channel, leave your comments down below. We always try to answer all of them to the fullest. And again, thank you for stopping by and uh, we'll see you on the next one.